to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Details are slowly emerging on the allegations against U.S. Special Operations Forces that prompted Afghan President Hamid Karzai to order their removal from Wardak province. Afghan officials say they've received complaints for the past three months that U.S. forces have arrested nine people who've since disappeared. One Afghan villager said her son was taken away and later found dead. My son was taken, and his body was dropped under a bridge in the river. One of his fingers was cut off. He was beaten very badly. His body was swollen from torture, and his throat was slit. Why is the government not listening to our voices? Why are they not stopping the Americans from doing such things? While I wanted to stand up to talk with the Americans, they've pulled me back and hit me in my chest with the butt of a gun. I still feel pain here since I've been beaten. I cannot breathe. You still can see the marks of the beating on my chest. The Afghan government's expected to form a commission of inquiry with the U.S.-led NATO occupation force to investigate the allegations. On Monday, a NATO spokesperson said no evidence of wrongdoing has emerged so far. We take all allegations of misconduct seriously and go to great lengths to determine the facts surrounding them. Over the past few weeks, there have been various allegations of special forces conducting themselves in an unprofessional manner in Maiden Wardock. So far, we could not find evidence that would support these allegations. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.